I'm going to tell you about another technique that we're using a lot here lately in the cold weather. It's called a float and fly. I know a lot of you guys have heard about this. I just want to tell you a little bit about what it is and how to use it and when to use it. Uh, I've got an eight foot rod here and a lot of you guys aren't real comfortable using an eight foot rod, but I'll tell you why this comes into play with this. A lot of times I'm setting this float, you know, I've already got it preset. It, it's not a, 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 a float that's going to move up and down and, and let that bait, you know, I've, I've got my depth set here. So sometimes I'm throwing it eight, nine, ten foot deep. What it is, got a little action bait here, a little minimizer. And what that is, that's a, that's a good, good bait that you don't have to move a whole lot. Got a little quiver to it. You don't want a lot of thump on this. It's just a little, little stinger tail on there. All right, I'm going to show you how I'm throwing this. I've got this set at about eight, nine foot. Instead of a regular cast where I'm going to pull that rod back and fl fling it out there, I'm going to do this like a fly rod. I'm going to let it set up behind me, load up, let the bait get in the water, and then throw it. This keeps you from whipping that thing. Just kind of watch what I'm doing right here. Everything's still in line. It sets well. And when I get out there, I've already located my fish. They're schooled up. It's just a, a very, very little bobble. I'm bobbling that bait as I'm easing it to me. Stop it for a minute, bobble it. And a lot of times they're gonna hit this bait when you stop and it's sitting still. The fish just can't stand it. You pull it through there, that bait's not doing a whole lot. It's cold weather. Everything's kind of lethargic, it's sitting there. And that bait stops in front of his nose. He can't help but reach up there and kiss it. So when you're out in this cold weather, try this float and fly. It's gonna help you catch a bunch of fish.